happens when you get that stuck feeling. Um, what do I do next in life? Uh, I feel like in young adulthood, that happens so many times, right? I feel like in overall life, of course, it's gonna happen a million times. So many frequent times we can identify where we're like, now what? What do I do in life? I know I have so much to focus on, but how do I pinpoint and find what the best next step is for me? I'm gonna go on a bike ride, show you a little time lapse and talk about it later on in the video. But I feel like when you're stuck, these three areas in life will always help you find that best next step. And these three areas is personal life, social life and professional life if you're in school and you're building up you know starting a foundation for yourself you can also just call it professional and academic life because they're very intertwined and in each of these areas of life there's so much to focus on right as long as you're developing and growing into one of these three categories in life you aren't going towards the wrong direction or you aren't doing what's wrong you're building yourself and of course there's no right or wrong answer but we all desire the best next step forward and not just moving forward we want to move forward with intent with that comes a lot of self-awareness self-assessment where you're currently at seeing your pain point and seeing what you can improve on something i also recognize is this whenever you work on one of these three areas eventually you will realize how they're all related there are many examples where you could be focusing on yourself and towards that journey you find more social opportunities professional opportunities and all the above in life so don't be discouraged in the fact that you have three or four things you want to go towards but you don't know which one to start start with the one that you feel is going to give you that best push start with the one you like enough and if there's more than one tell yourself in the next 24 hours if i had to commit to one which one would i do and play that out in your mind and actually experiment with trying see how it goes most of you would agree that it's better to choose one of these areas in life and grow towards it then spend months in that in between where you could have already done something right let's go ride bike gonna hit the putnam trail again got the gopro there hitting the time lapse i got my helmet i need another helmet honestly this is a free helmet from the de bronx it's not bad but off color for sure it'll do the job Took a pit stop on the Punnam Trail. But yeah, uh, social, professional, and personal life. Three areas of life you wanna focus on. Building a little bit more into that. Got a fast cyclist going behind me there. Quick, I love this path. Lots of cyclists, um, lots of people on their scooters too. It's a great place to just get out of the city, literally. You just leave, you could pass Yonkers, keep going. I've been 50 miles up this trail, 50 miles back down for a century ride. Shout out to I challenge myself. Anyways, let's elaborate on those points. Let's start with personal life. There are so many areas you could improve with personal life, but I feel some of the most important ones are, of course, health, more specifically your diet, what you're eating, what you're putting into your body directly affects your hormone levels, therefore affecting your mood. What you use as fuel will help amplify certain moods you feel, and it also can be detrimental by impairing your energy and impairing certain areas of your health. Your immune system could be weaker or stronger depending on what you eat but it's all relative, right? So I would say take the time to find the best diet according to what that is for you and your body. Of course, speaking to a doctor, see what you're allergic to, see what you lack in when it comes to your blood levels, and make sure you're optimized so you can put your best foot forward in terms of health, you know, start within. Exercise, good nutrition and exercise are the two areas of life that can drastically improve your health. In fact, it helps prevent a variety of amount of diseases, disorders, and et cetera. You wanna make sure that you are exercising for those of you who are young, if you speak to older people, they're gonna tell you, if you were to take full capacity and advantage of the age you have now, being that you have relatively more energy than you will way later in life, everyone will tell you, take, make the best out of this life right now. Uh, do your best, whatever that means to you. I'm not saying everybody has to look like The Rock. You wanna be relatively fit according to what that means to you. A lot of this is mental too, because your body is much stronger than you may feel. A lot of it is all mental. And this is the hardest thing. With personal life, it's about habits. Everything we do in personal life is a pattern of habits that we just got used to, I feel like. But yeah, good nutrition and exercise, those are just two of the many areas you can improve in personal life. And like I said before, you continue in these two paths and you will meet people that would help improve your social life. 
and potentially even professional life for those of you who are interested in that field. Let's talk about social life though. You often hear the saying, you are the sum of the five people you hang around with. And I feel like it's not an objective fact, but there's some truth to that. The people you hang around with in general have an influence on who you are and the goals you set and how aggressive you're thinking in life towards success in different areas, right? This is a double-edged sword because the people you surround yourself with could either distract you from your goal or push you towards them. I value genuine relationships above whether this person can bring you to the next level or not. If your relationship is pure and genuine, don't cut this person off because they've been the right person in your life, right? They've shown up, hey, they might not help you with your greater goal, but that's a friend, you know? Someone who's genuine, if you have that. But in other areas, sometimes the friendship is shallow. The people you are around, when you think about the greater things in life, they're not so much in tune with that lifestyle. They more just wanna stay confined in this mode of patterns, whether it be partying. For example, and this is not a bad thing, party, it could be a distractor or a helper, a therapeutic outlet, it all depends how you do it, you know? Professional life or academic life, for those of you who are still in school, I always say that experience is the greatest teacher because it's gonna teach you uh, what you like and what you don't like, therefore it being one of the main pillars that's gonna help you identify what you want in this life, right? I would say if you're in college right now, or if you're looking to professionally build your resume, say yes to more opportunities. Try to get those internships, try to get that job position. Also remember this, you want to be a genuine person and you wanna have good energy. You wanna be positive. Be reinforcing in an environment. I'm not saying do too much, just be yourself, but be cheerful of others when they're questioning or looking towards their success because they will remember that if you carry yourself in that way for example in a classroom setting those are all future professionals and they might open so many different types of opportunities for you you never know be a genuine person keep yourself positive and don't give up because a lot of this too is that we set deadlines for ourselves it's very hard to meet these deadlines sometimes whether they're realistic that we set them or not it's just so many barriers that comes with life right i'm gonna keep on writing now but Lastly, I wanna announce, I'm gonna do a playlist on this channel called Shift, and it's gonna deep dive into this personal development, find yourself type of aspect of the channel. And the term Shift is gonna stand for shoot higher in order to finally thrive. And my goal is to just continue getting more and more specific on personal, professional, and social areas of life. And let's see where this goes. Ask me anything in the comments down below. I might do a video on it. Uh, but most importantly, keep your heads up, guys, and let's keep moving. Let me get back to this right now. I love this show.